Hey, this is Francois with a new question. And uh, this time I had a challenge. It was how do we copy a page from one site to another? So we know that pages are stored inside a library. That's for sure. So let's have a look at SharePoint first. Here I have a list of uh, pages. We know that pages being the home page or anything is stored into a page library and we call it library, but it's a specific one. We can only have one site page, in fact, in, in a modern site. So it would be great to just copy that. And let's take this example. I was actually trying to copy it. I have my page here, Milan, and I want to select it because I didn't copy it, at the, I didn't create it, in fact, at the right level. I created it in Europe. I want to move it into my Italy subsite. So that would be what I should do really is select it, then do copy to, and then I would select the subsite. But as you can see, it doesn't show because it's a special library. This site page doesn't behave the same as a library. So instead, I'm going to take that one and just create what is missing here. And it's a Power Automate. So I'm going to do Power Automate, create flow and check in the list if there is something that looks like it. So, as I said, looks like it, because we may select it and start from that. So I can see that there are some actions that are doing things when the document is selected, like this one, selected file. Here it says, do something, add, an, add, a, add a task for a selected file as well. So now I can guess that, okay, selected file, file would be the right way to do, right? So I could actually start with one of them because it would give me a very kind of complex uh, Power Automate and then I, can, I just have to modify it. But instead, let's just go ahead and, uh, well, let's go to see more template and create one from scratch. So here I have my button, create. And do we want an automated workflow or do we want an instant? So in my case, it's instant because I still need the user to do a manual action. So he's going to select the file, the page, and then do an action from it. So we're going to give it a name, of course. Maybe we do copy, actually it's copy page, isn't it? Copy page to another site. And now we find a trigger. So what could we do? So it could be a manual. This one is not just mobile, by the way. It can be as well for web. But if we look around, we also have selected. And the trick is it's selected item because pages, they are not exactly the file. We can't really take the uh, ASPX page and copy and paste. So we're going to do selected item. We create. And now let's go ahead and uh, start filling the blanks. So we know that selected item, my source site is Europe. Now we need my list and the prime is it doesn't show me anything because I may have some list, but I want especially to see pages as a list and I can't find it because it doesn't really understand it as a list. Never mind. Let's go back to my site. I'm into my list page and we're going to slightly hack it because I'm going to find. So I can't use the URL. It's not that simple. But what I can use is the unique identifier. So I'm going to go to library setting. And you can see at the top here that the unique identifier is all these things. And we'll have to remove something, but look, list ID starts with all this. So I'm going to my workflow and now I just have to do enter custom value, paste this value. Now you can see that there's some characters that are a bit wrong. So person 7B, I need to remove it. And also the person 7D, let me explain quickly what it is. If I go to my HTML reference on W3C school, percent seven B is actually the open bracket like this. And if we do the same for the, it was the person seven D, um, I'm guessing, oh, a bit stuck here. I am guessing that it is the quote uh, closing bracket. Here we go. So it means we need to remove this and remove the opening. So that's what I've done. Now we add a new step. The new step is that we need to actually get the item. So I know we are in the selected item, but
but it doesn't mean we have all the properties because we are using an ID here. So the Power Automate doesn't really understand this kind of ID. So first we need to to get the uh, item. So for that, we're going to use the SharePoint action and then we look for get so we can either search for it or just go to get item and I just want the single one. So let's use the search get item individual one, not a collection of items. So I'm going to get the item. Let's copy this for later. We get it from the current site, which is Europe. My list name is not a list name, it's a list ID. So I do paste the uh, ID. And now I want to find the ID of this item, which is a selected item. But now I'm lucky because I have the selection here, dynamic content, and it just shows me that the only thing that kind of matches is actually ID. Just select it. Next step is now that we have, we are getting the ID, the uh, item using the ID. Now we want to get all the five properties. So let's just search for it directly. Or again, we could just search in SharePoint. So here we have get files property. We're getting all the property, all the metadata of this file. Again, we are in Europe. Again, we are in this list ID. And now we need to again pass the unique ID of the item. So to do so, we look around and we are now going to get the one of the selected item because it hasn't got it yet, but we got the get item. Okay, so now we have all the properties and finally the next step is to copy. So we are not going to copy item, we're going to copy the file this time in SharePoint. So we do copy file. So we copy it from which site? From Europe, for sure identifier of the file is going to be my identifier and that's the tricky bit is that you don't use id you use identifier from the file properties so i'm just going to select identifier and where do we want to copy this this uh, page so normally i would say italy right that was my test here which is fine but I may want to be a little bit more dynamic because sometimes I copy it in Italy, sometimes I want to copy it for a different site in Spain or so. So why don't we just make this a little bit more clever? So if I go at the top here, selected item, you can notice that I can even add an input. So let's add a text. And here I'm going to say sat URL and please enter your input. Good. So please enter the target sat url and i'm even going to give an example like uh, our italy site so let's copy that example this long address but i don't want site pages i just want up to the site okay so now we are back to the copy we want to copy it into a destination site and instead of selecting in the list I'm going to make it dynamic so I need to do enter custom value and the dynamics is here I'm going to select it uh, so it was the very first item right it's the selected item a variable in the selected item so this one is get item here we go so here we have selected item and the one I'm adding is the item URL. No, actually it's the site URL here. So site URL and destination folder. So remember that we are always going to copy a page. So we need to go and tell the system that we want to copy it into site pages. And that's it. That would be the URL, meaning the which library we want to copy it to. But just one thing to know here is that if I wanted to copy into a template, because we can copy template from one site to another, I could use this as well. Now, if the page exists, so it's a file, but if the page exists already with the same name, what do we do? So do we replace it or do we copy with a new name? So let's do copy with new, new name. And that's it. All I have to do now is to check the, the name, save it, and then I can test it. Okay. So we can use the test button here, but even better, we're going to go to our library 
pages and here I'm selecting my Milan and I will copy it into my Italy okay so best thing is to also check Italy making sure how many pages I have so we don't confuse everything so I can see that I have four pages and they were created in December okay fine so now we go into Europe I will select my Milan is opening and I can't use the copy so I'm going to use automate oops this is just coming up now copy page to another site let's see what it's going to offer me I want to have the permission that's fine continue and here is my my uh, variable enter the target URL so I just pasted it that's my full URL and I run the workflow so now it's running I can't really see what's happening it just tells me it's running but we know Power Automate so I can go one step back thank you and I can see that it's been running in the past but it's going to show me the current one 15 seconds ago let's have a look at the failure uh, fail da, 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 da. oh yeah okay oh all right I can see there's a s here that is missing okay so let's do it again and then we will come back to this okay just rerun it so now we are going to check oh it's green okay so it's done all the all the ticks perfect let's have a look in Italy now here we go new page and of course in the past old SharePoint we used to do that with SharePoint designer and then the page was disastrous we wouldn't get the images we wouldn't get the web part it was just a nightmare so just need to make sure that everything works fine and as we can see the page was actually draft it was copied and left as draft so all we have to do is change a couple of things we may move things around and when we're happy with this we just publish it so that was a quick one about uh, Power Automate how to move a page or copy it because then once we copy we just delete it